little bit before this next song, it gives me an opportunity to catch my breath because I'm 36 now and uh, incredibly just pacing and singing at the same time is exhausting. And Sarah, I think, likes this bit. But Sarah, I always do the bit. I think tonight you should do the bit. this section work is your optimism and my concern is that if I were to do this next section it would end up being slightly depressing and I, my eyes keep just magnetizing towards all the kids that are here and I'm not sure I want this to be their first impression. Okay, well let's, let's check it out. Maybe Sarah's going to have a darker perspective on this bit and maybe it's slightly a little more sarcastic and negative. Who still wants specifically in the area of romance and being in a relationship. And here's the thing, is that to do something like this, we all know that the, that the, that the goal is to end up at a place where you say like, I know you feel sad, but there's so many fish in the sea, and you're going to be fine, and everything's great, and here's a song about relationships. But the truth is, is that I think that being single is better than being in a relationship. I just wanted to give a little bit of context of like where I'm coming from, which is that I'm in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for almost seven years. I'm with someone amazing, and we're very compatible. I love how people are like, mm. <laughs> not, you're not that stoked for me. Like usually in real life, you're like, I've been with someone for seven years, and people are like, that's amazing. But at this concert, people are like, okay. <laughs> We're very compatible, we have cat children, it's fine, everyone's fine. But I tend to think that when you're single is, is sort of when you do your best work, you know? It's sort of like, it's where you can like be very like, you know, focused on yourself and you can be adventurous and you're like trying new things and you, um, I don't know, you're just like not a gross two-headed romantic monster, like, you know, it's just... Okay, so I'm rethinking giving Sarah the point. Okay, what's up? <laughs> so I'm gonna do the thing that Tegan always does, but I just, I'm not saying that, I want you to just take all of that information that I told you and then consider it when I give you advice. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's good. That's, that's all good. I'm saying. I'm not like the love doctor, I'm more like just somebody who thinks that love is overrated and meant to die. Not a difficult thing okay. to explain to a kid. Okay, so who here is having a difficult time and and maybe just ended up single recently and is feeling kind of bad? <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, sir. He considered and then he's like, that's eh, not that bad. I'm not that bad. Uh, anybody else? Are you really going through a bad time? You're going through the worst time too. This is like a depression section. Okay. Let's start with they the other They had grass seats. They hey, upgraded hey, hey. them because they're sad. Okay. I don't interrupt you when you do your well, bit. I'm just adding to them. <laughs> it confuses people. Okay. All right. This is my bit now. <laughs> Are you newly single? No! You're always single. It sounds like you're doing fine because if you really wanted to be in a relationship, you would probably be drawing that in for yourself. Or, alternately, maybe... Something, there's something about you that's, you know, is a bit of a barrier to like letting people in. Maybe you gotta let some, you gotta let some hearts down. You gotta let some hearts down. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're afraid to love somebody because you're afraid that you're gonna end up like me, thinking that all things are meant to die. Um, is there someone that you like and then they just don't have feelings back for you? No? I don't know. I mean, it seems like you're doing great. You're like Mr. Robot of relationships. You're fine. Yes, sir? She self-sabotages. Oh, you're oh, oh, you're her friend, I see, okay. She self-sabotages? Okay, well it seems like you have some stuff I love to it when on. the friends get involved. 
This is great stuff, though. It makes you probably a really creative and exciting friend to be with. Okay. You're, are you feeling sad? Don't tell me your relationship problem. We don't have enough time for that. Are you sad? Are you recently broken up with? Uh, sort of. Did you break up with a person? It sounds like you did. No? You just, the audience doesn't care about that. You know, just... Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, so you're like, oh, this is very modern. This is a very modern situation. You gotta tell us what's happening, Sarah. You're, you're, you are, do you care if I, I mean, you're sort of, you're sort of disclosing for yourself. Do you mind if I amplify your disclosure? Okay, we have a bisexual person up here. We've got, it's very, it's a lot of fish in the sea when you're, when you're bisexual, I think. I think people. Oh, you're not bisexual. Oh my. You just said. I'm going to take the bit back. I got, I just. See, I don't, now you sound like someone I've tried to date in the past. It's confusing. You're gonna be fine. You're, you, you, look, you seem young. You seem like you're. You have a. You have a lot of charisma. You're very outgoing. I think you're gonna do great in life. Okay, one more before Tegan takes back my bit, as if she could. But let's just say. Anybody over here? Yes, over here. You're slightly in the dark, but what do you? What's going on for you? Yeah, yeah, you. You. Somebody recently broke up with you. Um, do, are you feeling? Is there? Is, was it a long relationship? You got the dog. Okay, well, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's a long time. Was there one particular thing that broke you guys up, do you think? The dog. She has kids. Oh. Girlfriend, I understand you right now. I really do. Um, okay, well, here's, here's my wrap-up statement about relationships in general. <clears throat> to quote someone very oh, intelligent have to cut us off. named Tegan Quinn, uh, there are so many great people at this show, and I think if you're single and looking to mingle, this is basically the uh, Tinder concert of the year. Uh, I think this is very empathetic. People, single people, put their hand up. Oh, sorry, right. Tegan always likes to say, if you're single or looking, put your hand up. And now everybody look around. Your match might be this is, the, this is the analog Tinder, you guys. This is how it used to happen. This is how it all used to go down. Just like, you saw someone raise their hand and then you were like, hey, I saw you raise your hand earlier. Are you single? Do you want to go out for ice cream or gelato or whatever? But so, here's the thing. Navigate a trip to Sephora with me. I'm gonna, exactly. Maybe they have a car and they can drive you to Sephora. I don't know. But here's the thing. Relationships are, they're wonderful. There's pros and cons. If you're single tonight, you're still worthy. You still deserve love. You're still special. And life can still be great.